The Canadian Football League, which to be clear is a Canadian football league, has an excellent array of stadiums. Some old, some new, some green, some blue. With that being said, here is my attempt at ranking the CFL stadiums. Because why not? McMahon Stadium Calgary has stampeded into last place with its bare bones stadium that wouldn't look out of place in a backwater town in Alabama. Of course, in Alabama they couldn't display a large animal like that without it being shot. It's not terrible, don't get me wrong, it's just that all the other stadiums in the league are better. I do quite like this patio section to the north, however. Percival Molson Memorial Stadium. See, this one is also dated, and leaves a lot to be desired regarding the amenities. But the unique layout and the way it perfectly blends into the surrounding buildings makes it greater than the sum of its parts. There is a small track, which isn't ideal, but it doesn't affect spectator proximity too greatly. The seating is also quite monochromatic, but at the same time, it matches the nearby buildings. Plonked amongst the suburbs of Hamilton is Tim Hortons Field, a fairly new stadium with a rather uninspiring design to be honest. There are still plenty of positives. It does have a rather large video board, of course there's a Tim Hortons inside, and I do quite like the way it opens up into this plaza. Speaking of Tim Hortons, people call this stadium the Donut Box, but I think the Coffee Grounds, a lesser used nickname is better due to its double meaning. Commonwealth Stadium I often forget that Canada is part of the Commonwealth because you actually have your own unique flag and not one that makes Canada look like it's still a colony. <coughs> I guess Quebec wouldn't have appreciated the Union Jack. Anyway, it shares some similarities with McMahon Stadium but it has a much more vibrant colour scheme, a more built up exterior and it's the biggest stadium in the country. BC Place This spectacular building nestled amongst the high rises of Vancouver is the league's only stadium with a retractable roof, which some people don't really appreciate. It is an outdoor sport after all, but having experienced some Canadian-like weather before, where any sort of breeze is painful, I for one can appreciate it. The center hung video boards made possible by the roof as well. Overall, it's a solid stadium. TD Place Stadium. This place has an odd combination of old and new school stands, with the western stand featuring a modern grill-like exterior, and the more plain and simple stand on the opposite side featuring an ice hockey arena exterior. Yep, there's actually a hockey arena underneath there. And it's a decent sized one. This is certainly a one of a kind stadium. BMO Field is nothing flashy or extravagant. There are no arenas underneath it, but it has all its ducks in a row. There's a decent exterior with some vibrant hits of red. Obviously Toronto FC were here first. There's also an extensive roof that protects pretty much all the spectators from the rain, not so much the wind and overall looks pretty good, even when they try to add a bit of a blue trim during the Argonauts games. Mosaic Stadium This venue is probably the most modern in the country, and at over a quarter of a billion loonies, it was... nowhere near the most expensive. Montreal is going to keep that record for a while. Not that one. Yes, well done. It features a striking exterior, a curved roof with a mostly enclosed seating bowl, a very distinctive seating layout come to think of it. There's also a huge video board and yeah, it's a stunning stadium overall. I was tempted to put Mosaic Stadium at number one because in some ways it is more impressive, but IG Field just looks that little bit more I don't know, while it still looks modern, it has some more traditional elements to it. Some brickwork on the exterior, and it just looks elegant by comparison. Contrary to Mosaic Stadium's roof that prevents the accumulation of snow, this one looks like it maximizes the accumulation of... 
French onion dip. And personally, I look for that in a stadium, and a chip. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.